Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to show you guys how to create score lines in Inkscape that will translate to your products in Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. I asked in the group the other day if there was anything people would like to see, and one request was, how in the world do I create score lines that will translate into other cutting programs? And so I'm gonna walk you through how to do that in Inkscape and then show you what that looks like in Cricut Design Space as well as Silhouette Studio, okay? So let's get started. I have Inkscape open here. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a circle. And I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna take my Bezier Curve tool and I am going to create a line down the middle, all right? And now I am going to create a dash line. You can choose like any kind that you wish, right? And I'm gonna increase that just slightly as far as the width goes. So y'all can see what I'm working with here. And now that we have this situated, we're going to go to path, I'm sorry, extensions, <laughs> modify path, convert to dashes, okay? That's going to go ahead and convert that to dashes, right? Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go into Cricut Design Space and we are going to upload this. And we are going to insert it onto our mat. Now you can see that you have a basic cut for the circle and the score line. So if you were to go to make it right now, it's gonna show you a cut out of the score line itself and the circle. We don't want that. And you're gonna to have to click on the score line. You see now it's a selected. You have to go and change the operation to a score, okay? Now if we click on make it, you'll see that the circle will be cut out and then the score line. And we don't want that, okay? It's not, we could take it one step further and you have to select both the score line and the basic cut, click on attach. And now when you click on make it, you will have a circle and the score line will be cut out down the middle. So you have the ability to fold that out. So I do recommend with things like this, if you're creating pop-up cards that you include some sort of readme that explains, hey, I have prepared these score lines for you. However, you need to change them to score lines in uh, Cricut Design Space, and then you need to attach the two things together that are gonna have the score, okay? It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but if people understand how to work their software, they should know how to do this, but a lot of people do not. So you wanna make sure you're providing that information. Now for Silhouette Studio, it's much easier to handle. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out because I was messing with something earlier. You click on open, okay? And when you click on send, you will see that the circle will be cut out and your score lines will also be cut out. But if you notice, and I'm just zooming in here so you can see this, the circle will be cut out in vinyl or whatever your medium of choice is, cardstock, and then these lines, bzz, we'll just cut on the lines, okay? So Silhouette Studio is much, user, much more user-friendly. You don't have to take an extra step with that score line to get the effect that you are trying to get. So that is all. That is what you have to do to make that happen. If you guys have any questions on that process, please let me know. Remember, you just have to go to Extensions, Modify Path, Convert to Dashes. You're good to go. Um, if you got something out of this video, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And again, if you have any questions, you can head over to the Facebook group and ask where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. 
I will catch you all on the next.